been looking for you everywhere. I hope you're all good. And if you're homeschooling, I hope that's going well too. As you can see, I'm not in my kitchen today. I'm stuck out here in the hot desert. It's just outside Bitten. It's really hot and I'm really thirsty. And my water has run out. And I need a drink, but there's no shops. I wonder if there's a well nearby. Hmm, that reminds me of a Bible story. It was a scorching hot day. Jesus was traveling and stopped in Samaria to rest. Under the hot sun, Jesus sat by a well. He was thirsty and hoping someone could help him get a drink. Soon, a woman from Samaria came to the well to draw water. Jesus asked her for a drink. The woman was too shocked to give him water because Jesus was Jewish and Jewish people did not talk to or hang out with Samaritans. Jesus said, It's okay. If you really knew who I am, you would be asking me for water. What? You don't even have a bucket. How could you get me water? Hang down into the well by your feet and get water by the handful? Jesus could see she was confused. Everyone who drinks water from this well will be thirsty again. But I have come to share a living water that will satisfy your thirst forever. Living water? On a hot day like this, it sounds too good to be true. Okay, please give me this living water so I won't be thirsty anymore. Then Jesus said something she wasn't expecting. It's not just water you're looking for. I know that you are lonely and thirsty for friendship. She had never told anyone about her loneliness. How did this man know this? He seemed like a smart man of God, so she decided to ask him a question that had been on her mind. Sir, Samaritans worship on a mountain. Jewish people say we should worship in a temple. Which one is the right answer? Jesus answered her. That's in the past. Soon, true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, anytime, anywhere. I know that Christ the Messiah is coming soon. I'm sure he'll explain the rules to us when he gets here. Dear woman, I am the Messiah. The woman could not believe her eyes. The same man who asked her for water, knew everything about her, and told her she could worship anywhere, was the Messiah. She was so excited to tell everyone that she had met Jesus that she'd left her water jar behind at the well. Because of the woman's story, the Samaritans asked Jesus to stay with them. So Jesus stayed for two more days, sharing his good news with them. That's a great story, wasn't it? And there's so much to learn from it. But I want us to think about how it relates to the value tolerance that you've all been looking at. You see, Jews and Samaritans, they didn't like each other. They certainly wouldn't talk to each other. So for Jesus, a Jew, to talk to a Samaritan was a big deal. And especially for him to talk to a Samaritan woman, that was a huge deal. But as we know, Jesus was different. There are lots of stories in the news of countries in conflict where the people living there don't get on. There is arguing and fighting and sometimes even wars. And we see conflict here as well with racism or how people with disabilities or additional needs are treated. If someone is different to us or does things differently to us, it can be hard for us at times to accept. But this is where we can learn from Jesus. You see, Jesus was kind to all kinds of people. If people were from other countries, Jesus was kind to them. If people were different from him, as women and men are different, Jesus was kind to them. If people were unpopular and other people were mean to them, Jesus was still kind to them. I wonder if you've ever felt lonely and wished people would be kind and friendly to you. I wonder if there are people you know who other people don't want to talk to. 
We need to show tolerance and love to everyone, don't we? It's what Jesus tells us to do, and it would make the world a much better place to live in if we did. Now at the moment, we're home a lot, aren't we, with lockdown? And this can bring its problems. Brothers and sisters can start to get annoying, being around all the time. Maybe even parents and carers as well. I've had to show tolerance today. I'm not really in a desert. Look, I'm filming in the kitchen. I had to be tolerant to my wife when she put the loud washing machine on as I was starting to film. I had to be tolerant when my boys came downstairs after their online lessons to get some food. We have lots of opportunities to practice tolerance at the moment. It's good training for when we can meet together again. To show tolerance, we need to focus on people's strengths rather than their weaknesses. We need to accept that we all are not perfect and show patience with each other. I wonder how Jesus's friends decided to treat other people after they saw how kind and friendly he was to the woman at the well. It can be hard, but we have Jesus to help us and guide us. We just need to remember to ask him. So let's have a time of quiet now as I say a prayer. Maybe think about the times where you have shown tolerance. and Maybe the times you haven't when you should have. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us and are there to help us. Thank you that we can learn from your examples how to be better people, how to be tolerant to people who are different to us or don't do things like we do. We ask you to please keep working in us so that others can learn from us in how to treat all people better. Amen. Well, guys, it's been fantastic to spend some time with you this morning. I've got one of my favourite songs now to play you, and it's called My Lighthouse. I think you heard it last week when Tony played it. So here we go, My Lighthouse. So stay safe, guys, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you home. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to show, safe to show, safe to show. In my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, in the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh, oh you are the peace in my troubled sea see his faithfulness